Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made these really full, loaded, over-the-top gift tags. It's using lots of the Simply Creative supplies mixed with one of the first edition papers and a few other little bits, but I'll talk you through that as you go. So you would have seen me share um, a few weeks ago now, I got all of these little gem stickers. So there's the Father Christmas, that's the one I'm going to use today. And then I have the tree, so that's this one here. And what I've done is I've stuck them onto some acetate and then I've just roughly cut around the acetate. And then I've stuck them on some clear silicon uh, foam tape and then you can just see there's some dimension to it there and then I've started to build up these really like I said over the top gift tags. Now you don't obviously have to use them like this but I just I don't know I just got a bit carried away and I, I, I love them I love all this kind of stuff. So that's the Christmas tree then you have the snowflake which is this one here. You can see all that sparkle on the snowflakes really nice. I've oh, got a little bit of um, skinny tinsel there there we go and it's got a bell they've all got a bell actually so <laughs> they're gonna look great when they're on the presents you can see on this I've put all these like little styrofoam balls and there's a little sentiment there from the Christmas tales collection and these are actually pipe cleaners on the all around the frame there just to kind of um, I just really like the effect and because they bend because they've got the metal in them it looks yeah I thought it looked really good so that's the snowflake then you've got the gingerbread man I like this one here I put a little Christmas hat on him. Again, a couple of bells. Kind of lost their uh, their ring a little bit there, but um, and then I've got I've made a little candy cane out of the um, pipe cleaners there, and I've put it along the bottom there as well. And then you've got all this pom pom trim on all of them, and then the last one is the penguin. I love this one. It's so cute. Again, I've added the Christmas hat onto him, and the same kind of thing that I done with this one here white pom-pom trim and then there is a jingle there and that's a Merry Christmas that's one of the puffy stickers from the Christmas Tales collection so very very straightforward it was more about inspiration for this video because these have all been cut by hand so you don't need a die for these tags because I wanted them to fit these stickers that I had so here's Father Christmas and then this here is a piece of five by three and a quarter like I said, it doesn't have to be that length, that uh, size. It's just that's what I've decided to use for these ones here. Now, what you will need to do, if you do want to make it like I have, is along the top, you want to put a little marker at one inch and at two and a quarter. And then along the side, from, that, from the top there, you want to do one and a half down. So again, just on that side there, one and a half down. And then I just, with my scissors, you can use a trimmer if you want, just cut from the one and a half to the one of the top ones, and then the other one there, I'm just cutting down to that one there. So now I've got my gift tag shape. It's very straightforward, and then what you could do is use that as a template, or make up a template, and just draw around it on all of them. That's just a quick way to make a tag. And then I've got my hole punch here, and I'm just going to punch a hole in the top there. Okay, so that's the tag already. Then I'm going to grab my, let's take this one out of the packaging. I've just got a piece of scrap acetate here, it's just stronger. You can stick this directly onto whatever it is you're using. I just liked it to be a little bit dimensional, so that was why I done it. But just peel them off. They're lovely on um, shaker cards, you can have them on the shaker window as well. So I'm just going to take that one off and stick him on here. Like so. And you can see, just look at all the sparkle on them. They are so nice. They really are fun to use. And then I'm just going to very quickly cut around him. Okay, like so. So now he's just a bit more easier to use. You could have him, you know, you could just put a hole punch and have him hanging as like a little decorative dangle. It's entirely up to you. But what I'm going to do now is just with some of my clear foam, is just run a couple of strips down through the centre really, just to, just to lift him up a little bit. And then I'm going to stick him a little bit high because I want to run some of the pom-pom trim along the bottom. So about there. Now that clear 
tape's brilliant because you can't see it, but now he is lifted off. It's hard to really see on camera, but you do notice it in person. And um, yeah, I just think he looks, I think he looks really cute. Then I'm going to start decorating it. So I've used all sorts. So I've used the Simply Creative Pom Pom Trim. So I've got the red, I've got the white. I may well frame this one again. I do really like that effect. So these are the candy cane pipe cleaners. So I'm going to grab two of them. You get so many in here, 60. So it's, yeah, it's just been really, really handy. And then those were the balls that I've used all along here, all along there. Um, do I use them on any others? No, just use them on those two. So I may use it on this one, I'm not entirely sure. And then this is the skinny tinsel. I've used these snowflakes, which you can see here and here. I have used, oh yeah, I used a couple of the rosettes from the Christmas towels. So I've got one rosette there and one just here. Those Christmas hats are from last year. And it's again, Simply Creative. It's the Christmas Chunky Stickers. I think I tried linking these before and I struggled to find them. So I will have another look. I think there might be something similar but it wasn't these exact ones, but they're really cute. But because I'm working with Father Christmas, he doesn't need a hack, so he already has one. And then I used some of these puffy stickers. So that was that one there, which I used on the top of that one there. These I picked up from Hobbycraft. That's obviously the candy cane made from the candy cane pipe cleaners. And then the bells, you can pick them up everywhere, but I have got the Simply Creative ones here. But I've also got all of them in one of my drawers. I have a lot of bells, so I've just kind of been mixing them all up. So yeah, that's kind of what I did. So what I'm going to do first is, what have I got? I've got a white one, got red. So I've got two whites and two reds, so it doesn't really matter. I could combine two, I guess, with this one. So you just get your pom-pom trim. And I'm going to stick it along the bottom there. Let's see what it looks like with both. I actually quite like the white on top, so I think I'll do the red on the bottom and then the white in between. Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm going to run a bead of glue along the bottom and then you just want to stick that over the top. Like so, and then I'm going to grab the white one. And you just want to offset it so they sit in between the ones below. So let's do that there. There we go, that's fine. Then I'm going to get one of these and I think I'm going to frame, so I'm going to run one there. Or do I want to pop the little, see I like the little balls there as well. So let's see, I might pop this up here. It, you basically just, the more you add, for me, the better. Like, just really go over the top with it, if that's the look you want. Obviously, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. So now I'm going to run a bead of glue all the way around here, and I'm going to stick down this pipe cleaner. Okay, so I've stuck everything down how I wanted. Now, you would notice that the background has changed, because I didn't like the other one. I found that he, I don't know, I just didn't... Think it looked great so I've just popped it on this red one which is the same as the one I used there for the tree so that's now all in place so I just want to add all the little details to it now so I'm going to add some of the of these little balls I think along here because I do like those and I'm going to tie off some ribbon along the top um, I need to choose a sentiment that I'm going to use and I'm probably going to try and find one of these wreaths and do the candy cane so to do that, you just get one of these pipe cleaners and I just literally just curl the top with a little bit bigger there, like so. And then just cut it really how tall you want. I'm gonna go about there. And there we go. So I can have that one kind of there. And I'm gonna add some bells and things like that. So again, I will show you once I've done it.
Okay, so I've just been playing around. I've added these Christmas trees. So on this one here, I've used the green rabbit here. This is the Sunlit Meadow. So once that dries, it's, it's still very wet. I've literally just finished. I will probably put another layer over it just to give it a bit more of a green, but there's a lovely sparkle coming through on that one. It's not picking it up too well at the minute. In terms of sentiments, I have to have a little rummage around because I'm not liking, I love the, the rosette, but I don't like it on there. I just think it's too big and it's going to completely hide the glitter, you know, the, the gem Santa there. And then that little penguin, I added another one of these Christmas trees. So again, that one's all drying, but it does need to set. And then I tried the green here, which was the woodland green on this one. So this is going to just dry really shiny but I will put another layer over that as well. So it should come up much, much better in the photos. But I think for the minute, I'm just going to leave them. It was purely just to give you some inspiration. My idea is, is that I'm going to wrap the presents in red, plain paper or even white. I've got a big roll of white paper, so I may well use that. Actually, I probably use, will use the white and then I'll do a big red ribbon and then I'll have this gift tag. So it really pops against the presents. So... Yeah, I really like them. They're really over the top and just fun. And they use a lot of things, which is good. So if you have got a lot of bits and pieces lying around, put them all together. You know, they clash, but they work. If you stick within those kind of, I've stuck with red, green, white, and then either silver or gold, and it all kind of works together. I think it does anyway. So <laughs> there you have it. That's my very full loaded over the top gift tags. I hope it's inspired you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.